Good day, fellow viewers, and we are the group two for the deliverable four for system development methodologies. And we are here to present the NORVS management system. So first of all, who is our client? Our client is the Northern Ontario Recreational Vehicle Storage or NORVS in short, which specializes in supply of local vehicle storage. So this management system is entirely a new internet-based system which replaces the company's previous manual system. This new system will be an integrated storage space management component that tracks space availability. The new system will directly interface to a third-party credit card authorization service for payment of the rent rental re agreement and also it has the client profile management and built-in management reports to over few important written reports of the company and the system. So to present our group members, first of all is Hernal Giohopuli, yours truly. Secondly is Lucas Carvalho. Next one is Liana Filizola. And lastly, Suji O. Hello everyone. Now I'm going to explain the structure of our application. As you can see in the navigation chart, our system is divided into three parts. Reservation, which is used to get vehicle information and paid for a reservation. Client profile management, where a user can change and access information and more modify their monthly statement preference. And lastly, bureau report, where the manager of the system can access the financial, vehicle and customer report. So the next one is the wireframes of the system. This is a form where we fill by customer when they are making a reservation. Customer can make a reservation by filling out this format. Mainly it is consisted of four sections, personal, fecal, and preferences, and listening information. Let me tell you in detail about each section. In personal detail, customer enter full name, pin code, phone number, and so on. For the contact information, re-enter is required as the documents specify the problem that the inaccurate contact information may arise, problems like unable to contact to customers after the agreement was made. Customer can choose whether they want to receive monthly statement and they can also choose which format soft coffee or hard coffee they want to receive if they choose to receive statement. Indoor and outdoor space preferences will be tagged through this form and will be reflected when the spaces are located to the customer. In this part of the wireframe, the user can confirm the payment for the reservation using the Give Me Payment options. Payment is straightforward as the options include credit and debit cards, PayPal and using our bank app. Also on the right of the wireframe, the user can check the summary of their bill, including tax, and he can also use a coupon or a discount code to apply on their total value. Our system also has a personal information page in which the customer can enter and update his personal information, such as name, number, address, email, and also change uh, the subscription to the newsletter. And he also can change his vehicle details, the type, make, model, year, color, and also select if the vehicle is insured or not. Uh, this, the purpose, purpose of this screen is to uh, make it the changes very simple to the customer, so he can do these changes on his own without having to call the company and lose a lot of time on it. And for the last wireframe. It is when the client enters the built-in management reporting feature. This, kind, uh, this part of the system uh, allows uh, the administrator of the system to view all of the reports regarding the company and or the system. So you can see in this first picture that only the management or the administrator can open this feature on the system. They have to log in their username and password. After logging in, they can select which kind of report they want to view, such as profit and loss report, 
customer and listing information and so on they can also put what kind of report they want to based on what they like or based on what they need for the company so the last picture is an example of the report that can be viewed which is the profit and loss report there are mainly three reports that the system can create Profit and loss report can only know the net profit in a monthly basis. And vehicle storage report can let users know where its vehicle is stored. And so for the last report, we have the customers and leasing information report. This report records all the customers in the system and checks the leasing information, such as the start of the rental and end date. And using this report, the business can track the volume of the customers if they need more facility and so on. The main benefits of our new information system is productivity uh, because you do not have to do all the activities manually anymore. Also, it provides more security to the application and integrity to the data. Also increase the efficiency it also uh, acts like a competitive advantage since uh, nowadays if you do not have a system on your company you are losing money also it provides cost reduction because you, uh, you can avoid several manual hours of work as i said before we also have integrity it provides customer service because the customer can change the data on his own and has a better interface to deal with. We also have integrated information in which we can make the payment, uh, uh, also have a quick look into the inventory. It also is scalable because we can increase and decrease inventory and with some more processing we can just update the system and that's it thank you so much guys for watching and that's it for our report for the deliverable for of systems development methodologies again we are the group two thank you so much please click subscribe just kidding bye bye